Okay, let me ask you a question. Which was the most iconic flagship killer for you? And as for me, you know this phone, quite legendary. Tell me yours in the comment below. And this is the exclusive POCO F6 and it is rumored to be around 35,000 rupees. And this is the first phone in India to come with Snapdragon 8S Gen 3. Finally, the POCO F1 users can upgrade. Well, how does the POCO F6 perform in real life? What is Snapdragon 8S Gen 3? And should you hold on to your money before buying a phone? Well, TechWiser will tell you and I believe Snapdragon 8S Gen 3 is going to be the flagship killer processor in 2024. By the way, this video is made in collaboration with POCO and Qualcomm. Well, how is this flagship killer? That's your job to find out. How is Snapdragon 8S Gen 3 different? How? 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 Yes, how? Well, there are two reasons which make the Snapdragon 8S Gen 3 different. What is Snapdragon 8S Gen 3? Well, in simple words, mobile processors these days have three types of cores. There is a five cores, which are for smaller tasks like scrolling, Instagram reels, downloading videos. Then there is a seven cores, which is for slightly higher tasks like rendering, editing a video, playing games, etc. Up until here, it is common, but this is where Snapdragon 8S Gen 3 is different from all flagship killer processors. It has one Cortex-X4 core. And and this is the most powerful and biggest core in mobile processors as of now. Snapdragon 8S Gen 3 has one Cortex-X4 core, three A720 cores and four A520 cores. Like just to give you an idea, if you see in Geekbench, the single core score of the POCO F6 is quite high and this is the power of Cortex-X4 core. Now we ran a bunch of benchmarks, we did a CPU throttling test which runs your CPU at 100% for 15 minutes and this is the best graph I've seen in a long time on a flagship processor. Even 3D Mark test, it scored pretty good. Now this is all benchmark and promises. How does it perform in real life? So we opened the most powerful game on Android, Subway Surfer. And I could easily flick anywhere. Just kidding. Just to check game support, I downloaded BGMI and you can run BGMI at 60 FPS on HDR graphics. Even when we check Call of Duty, you have 120 FPS support. Now we also opened Genshin Impact at highest settings, 60 FPS and as you can see, the gameplay looks smooth. Now how well it run for half an hour, one hour, how is the heating, how is the battery drain? Well, we'll check all of that when the phone launches on May 23rd. Now the second reason for the Snapdragon 8S Gen 3 to be flagship killer is the onboard AI support. Like currently, most of the smartphones do AI on the cloud, whether it be object eraser, translating languages, everything requires an internet connection. But going forward, smartphones have to get better at doing AI tasks on the device. And very few Android smartphones support Android AI features like Google's Smart Compose or Recorder Summary offline. Now Android 15 will bring a bunch of AI features. POCO F6 will also come with AI features like object detection, magic eraser, etc. Plus, the POCO F6 comes with LPDDR5X RAM and UFS 4.0 storage. Now, having a higher RAM type does provide faster game launches. Like, this is the LPDDR5 RAM phone and this is LPDDR5X and we launched the same game on both the phones. And if you see, LPDDR5X has faster game load time. And since there's UFS 4.0, even the storage speeds are faster. Now, there's a big myth about storage speeds. Like, see, I'll run a benchmark on UFS 3.1 and UFS 4. Now, the POCO F6 scores really good as compared to UFS 3.1. But if you look closely, these are sequential write speeds. POCO F6 is twice of that. But these sequential read write speeds only matter when your phone is new. Once your phone gets old, random read write speeds matter which is also higher on UFS 4.0. You also get the latest Bluetooth 5.4. Now Bluetooth 5.4, very less talked about, has a bunch of features over the previous Bluetooth 5.3. You can pause here and read about it. These are the improvements. In simple words, Bluetooth will consume low energy and give you more battery life. Now POCO F6 is rumored to launch around 35 to 40,000 and if they can push it under 35,000, which POCO can. I mean, POCO is famous to have aggressive pricing, then at 35,000, this is a good phone. And I want more smartphones to get onboard AI support. I'm up for it. On that note, this is Pradeek signing off. See you in the next video. Pew, 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 pew.